Hi, my name is Mark Bailey. I'm an application engineer here at Agilent Technologies. And today I want to talk to you about a technique for measuring uh, resistance called four-wire ohms. But first, let me show you what, uh, what virtually every multimeter in the world does to measure resistance just using two leads. So if you look at the circuit I have here on the computer, this side represents the multimeter, and here's our unknown resistance. Inside the multimeter, we have a constant current source, and we know what the value is or how much current is going out through this loop and across the resistor. We know that a voltage will be generated across that resistor then, and we can measure that with the voltage. And since Ohm's law works, we know, uh, we know the current, we know the voltage, therefore we can calculate the resistance. Now, the, in the real world, the problem that get introduced is you still have the multimeter over here, but you have lead resistance because you're connecting to your unknown resistor through some test leads. Uh, this may be through an automated test system, and these leads may go through relay connections and all kinds of things. So it'll be introducing errors because as the current goes through this loop, It'll generate a voltage across here, a voltage across here, across the leads, and also across the unknown. And you're measuring the voltage of all three, so you have an error uh, introduced into your system. So the way we solve that, using this four-wire ohms, is that we break out the, volt, uh, the voltage uh, measurement from the current source and actually use four wires to connect to our unknown resistor. The current still flows through this outside path and generates three different voltages, but the voltmeter, because it's a very high input impedance, there's essentially no, uh, no current flowing through these two lead resistors, and so you don't get the ex extra voltage build up across these two resistors. You just measure the voltage across the, the unknown resistor. So let me show you how that works in, in reality. What I have here is a 34401A. It's an Agilent voltmeter, most popular voltmeter that Agilent ever introduced or, or even today makes. Um, I've got my uh, two, wire, uh, two wires connected and I'm measuring across this unknown resistor. So let me go ahead and select two wire ohms, and it says it's 1.27 and a little bit uh, for resistance, 1.27 ohms. What I'm gonna do now is take a second set of leads, plug it into the sense side, so this is actually going to the voltmeter side, and we're gonna go to four wire ohms where it will separate out the current source and the voltage measurement. So to do that, I'll hit shift, four wire ohms, and notice it now reads 1.027, 0 0.28 uh, um, ohms, more accurately measuring the resistor. Okay, so what I've hopefully shown you is the four wire ohms, how it works, why you might want to use it, how to set it up, perhaps demystify it a bit, and I hope that this has been useful to you. Thanks for listening, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.